Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is my birthday haul. Mm -mm. My birthday is September 25th. I only know of two people that share the same birthday as me, so if you also share the same birthday as me, let me know. This is my new bag. It's so cute and so pretty. And this is the Michael Kors Small Dylan. I don't believe that they make this anymore. They might, but I don't see it on the website anymore. He bought this, I believe, in July because on the website it was on sale. Originally, I think that this is like over 300 and in the sale he got it for like 230 maybe-ish. I'm not sure. So I think that the reason why it was on sale was because they were clearing them out. I didn't see them in store either when I went to Toronto uh, last month. So I, I don't know, but it's so cute. It also does have like a long strap if you want to cross body bag it, which is honestly one of the main reasons why I really liked this one. I love cross body bags. I love that I can be like hands free and do my thing. And like not have to worry but like it's like it's like dangling everywhere i think it's a really great size i'm not really like a hoarder of like things in my bag i really just try to have the essentials in there and the, the only thing that i'm finding is now my boyfriend is like oh like put my keys in your bag and put my wallet and i'm like honey it's not that big now like now it's becoming too small already like if he continues to do that then honey is gonna have to buy his own purse because this although it's perfect size for me when he wants me to shove his stuff in here i'm like you should get me a bigger bag then okay i slept over at my boyfriend's house the night before because we had a spa day the next day we get a couple's massage for 50 minutes and then he went home and then i stayed to get a facial he did purchase the um, massage as well as my facial i was originally gonna purchase my own facial i was gonna do it as like a treat to myself but um he did end up paying for that so that was very nice at the facial place i did end up buying a little sunshine they did do a skin examination thingy majigger and she also did mark off all the stuff that she used on me so she said overall my skin looks nice for my age. My only skin concern was the fact that I have broken capillaries around my nose which is why the sides of my nose are always so red. She says that a lot of women have this. It can be from something like blowing your nose too hard. Um, she did say that like once it does happen though it's hard to reverse it. But she did say that like when I'm using my Clarisonic to just, just very gently go over that area. Don't like overdo it. And basically like how you can tell that there are broken capillaries is the veining. Now I have veining around that area and then i ended up buying the little normal oily skin set i do have my skincare regimen that i really really love i don't know i thought i'd give it a try i have the cleansing gel the multi-active toner active moist moisturizer skin prep scrub and I care with SPF 15. She also did say that I do have a little bit of milia, I think, which I already knew that. It's like little white dots I get around my eyes. Now, I didn't think I had any. Usually, like, I get them, like, on the upper eyelid thing. But I think I have them right here under the eye. I'm using a new eye cream. So maybe that's that. I, I don't I don't really know. So my parents both got me money. Which I went to Sephora that day. So I spent that like real quick, you know. Oops. I just needed two things. 
I don't know how that happened. What I needed was the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation. I still have the old one. That one is definitely more of like a, not even a self tan shade, but like a self tan, but like a few days after my self tan, you know what I'm saying? I love this foundation. I need, I need it in my own color, okay? So I got the shade down 117. The other thing I went in for was a beauty blender. I also got the Anastasia finally liquid lipstick in sepia. How long have these been out? Like so long and they were never in my Sephora and I never wanted to purchase them online either because I need, I need to see them. They had quite a few like testers and that was the only one that I liked. I got the Glam Glow Super Mud Kit Full Mask or Spot Treatment. I cannot find the mini pot of this. I heard that this one is one of their best ones. So I was like, let me try that. I'm not the biggest fan of Glam Glow to be honest. I don't think that they do anything for that price. NARS Blush and Bronzer Duo. Orgasm is a beautiful blush color and I don't own it away with you my favorite thing is like overly shimmery blushes and that is exactly what orgasm is I feel like Laguna I won't be able to use until I'm tan because that's so fair I also this is so very exciting found the mini version of the Too Faced Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara. I've wanted to buy this and try this so bad because I actually really enjoy the original formula, but it honestly flakes. It flakes bad. And then the last thing was my birthday gift. They had two options. They had a mascara and lipstick set, which if you've gotten those before, those are like this big. And then the other little birthday gift they had was the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser, which is the cleanser I use and I'm kind of running out of it so I thought that was perfect, as well as the, the Rose Face Mask. The thing that I find slightly hilarious about Sephora is the fact that those little things that you can use up like your hundred points and like their birthday gifts and things like that. I work at Shopper Shack Mart if you didn't know and we get samples all the time and we just like give them out for free. So for my sister what she got me I originally was gonna get like the Naked 3 palette and I'm just not in love with all the colors. That's it. It's really as simple as that. So she ended up getting me a bunch of singles now before you like beat me over the head with a stick again i work at shop for shop more i have 30 percent off so the first one is tease i really really love this shade it is super pretty it is kind of like my nails actually it is just like that purpley mauvey mid-tone kind of shade i also have midnight cowboy rides again this definitely I think you need to use your fingers with and I also think that you should use a glitter glue with this. This has a ton of fallout. Even if you use a brush and wet it, it still does not have as much pigment as even just using your fingers. Sin. Sin doesn't look like that much going on. It's pretty for sure. I have Naked. Now I do have the... Urban Decay Naked Basics number one and in that one is Naked 2 and originally I wasn't going to get just the original Naked because if I already have Naked 2 then how different is it? But it's different. It is. So I was like I need them both. Like a light to medium kind of tone brown. Damn Urban Decay! Like. okay this one and 
Midnight Cowboy Rides Again has the same glitter. I would say that Midnight Rodeo has even more glitter though. So I haven't used this one. I'm not sure how well it works on a brush. But I would probably suggest a glitter glue with this one too. When you swatch the really glittery ones, like with your fingers, they're gorgeous. But again, they don't, um, the pigment on a brush doesn't show. Let's say, and then I have Laced, which is like teas, but a lighter. Oh my god, every time. It is just like a nice light pink purple. And then the last one, which is not in the same, you know, pinky, purpley, mauvey, nudie kind of tones. But I love it. It's so pretty. This is called Maui Waui, which I've been searching for a nice olive green shade. My sister's friend did not have to get me anything, but she ended up getting me a Victoria's Secret Bombshell Eau de Parfum. And it smells very nice. The rollerball is always nice. I could just totally toss this in my purse. And then this is not from my birthday haul from online ordering. So I'm just going to share those with you. Candy K and Dulce K. I also purchased Coco K and True Brown K. I really do like the wand and I have tried Candy K and I really, 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 really liked it. I wasn't sure about this packaging. I just feel like Kylie's so big. I just felt like she can like do better. The reason why I personally didn't buy the kits is because they're expensive in Canada. I believe it's like $58 for the kit. And I'm like, okay, no. Some Jeffree Star products. I got three from the regular collection and two from the limited edition collection. I really did like the shades. Are they slightly impulsive? Yes. They're definitely not for everyday wear, but just because he was so adamant that, like, they are not coming back, I was like, okay, like, I'll get one or two. The bright pink is a watermelon soda. The applicator is the same as Joseph Colors. The lighter pink is 714. This one is a lot thinner than the other ones this one you're definitely going to have to do two coats and I think it's just because of the color my camera died I'm back now the scent on this one I would say doesn't have one the watermelon soda smells like watermelon from his regular collection, I picked up Celebrity Skin. This. Ew. I think this is. Ew, I don't. <laughs> I think this is the Root Beer Float one. I really don't like it. Okay, 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 okay. Hold on. This one. Although it's unscented, it does have a little bit of like a plastic smell. This one is a mixture between Ruby or Float and plastic and armpit. And then I also got Androgyny plastic scent and then Unicorn Blood. I think this one is also Ruby or Float. Is it Ruby or Float? I really cannot tell. These definitely have to be stored standing. Not all of these caps close all the way. Felt a little greasy. The one that doesn't close all the way is Celebrity Skin. There's just like a gap and even if I like turn it really really hard, it never touches the bottom. But I did have to pay $25 for fucking tax, which is really fucking annoying. I dropped over a hundred dollars I had to pay shipping plus you're giving me 
a $25 fee like are you are you kidding anyways that is it for this video thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in my next one toodles